Greetings, Hurion. Hey, Blackbeard. Good evening. Um, where was the Hildebrand quest again? Where did I leave off? Ulda, right? Not this guy, but definitely Ulda. Brief time to say hello. I I figured I'd do an earlier stream than I otherwise would, because you might still be around. Was I ever right? It's gonna be a super short stream anyway, so you're not even gonna miss that much, I promise. But I'm probably not streaming tomorrow because I'll be absolutely dead from it being New Year's and all that, so... Where was it? Not the gate. Not the weave. Uh, I think it was... Somewhere here. I definitely should have probably put something up on YouTube for this one though. Because no one knows where I am. I don't know where I am. Oh, this is where I need to be. So... Okay. We'll go to the Goldsmith Guild. That's close-ish, right? <laughs> I feel was New Year, came wreck. It's true, though. Everyone's always uh, has all these New Year titles, but it's it's not true. I swear it was around here. Then again, I have been known to be wrong. Maybe go this way. Evening, dragon. Oh, they still have all the holiday cheer up as well. I swear it was an Ulda, though. I am so sure. Maybe it actually tells me. Wait, maybe there's a... Maybe it tells me. Where is it? There's a thing for this. Isn't there a thing for this? Yeah, recommendations. Is that what I'm looking for? It might be. I have guests coming over in literally two minutes. That's very short then. I think it might be this one. Because I keep thinking that because it's an unlock, it's not... Yeah, okay, it is. <laughs> Final Fantasy is my favorite thing to do as far as story goes, so... I would not, I would not blame you, Grumpy. I was looking for this. Ellie would share with you a shocking new turn in the Phantom Thief case. Of course. Hey, little boys. <laughs> Gelukkig new year, bijna. I was wondering when you'd showed up, Jorveth. I hope you haven't made any plans for the night because we've got a situation on our hands. Do we, though? Remember our good friend, the Phantom Thief? Well, it seems he's decided to branch out from burglary to cold-blooded murder. Well, it's getting pretty deep now. If the rumors are to be believed, he's claimed three victims already, all influential members of Uldan society. Mr. Many Faces has been kind enough to leave one of his signature calling cards at every scene, leaving no doubt as to the identity of the murderer. I don't think it's him, but okay. The message is always the same. The weight of five corpses will bring the scales of justice to balance. More riddles. I really don't think it's him. That would be way too easy. I don't think he's a murderer either. So, have fun, Energizer. Not that you'll hear me complaining. No, the only thing my readers like more than a good mystery is a good murder mystery. Ever since the story broke, the mithril eye has been selling like palms cakes. Oh, that's probably important to remember. The only rub is that it's left me no time to look into the thief's last message. Until now, that is. Shall we, Yorveth? We shall indeed. The hidden treasure of Ulda, was it? If there's anyone who can shed some light on this, it's you know who. To sun silk tapestries. Wait, who's you, who's you know who? Which of the many? So we're gonna go to the Weaver Guild, right? Right? I'll just assume. Weavers. Close enough. Nope, that's not what you mean. Fine. <laughs> Thought I was being clever. Oh, still to party with Alex. Whoops. Have any good games on the Steam sale this week? I haven't even looked at the Steam sale, really honestly. I probably should. Is it still on? Because I would have absolutely missed it. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's good for me because I don't spend all my money on that. But no, I haven't actually looked at all. Hey, women. Why, women? Ah, of course. Well, now if it ain't my favorite venturer and my favorite Mithril Eye reporter along with him. Tell me, what have I done to deserve the pleasure of your company today? Well, you know things, and I, I also want to know things, so... Okay, I'll probably have a look in that case. 
My wish list is really long, so... I see. As much as I'd like to help two of my best mates, I'm afraid you've found all women at a loss. Well, that has more than its fair share of treasures, hidden and otherwise. I reckon our phantom friend could be after just about any of them. That's... that's... you should have known that. That You should have known that. I can tell you this much, though. Whatever the thief's got his eyes on, it's got the Sultan sworn in a right dither. Word has it, they formed a regiment of their best and brightest to safeguard the royal vaults from this very threat. This very threat, women. This very threat. The Sultan's sworn aren't like to be forthcoming with information, but it's the only lead we've got. Come on, Yordveth. I'd say it's time we paid a visit to the heart of the sworn. Hi, hold up there, Ellie. I ain't generally the worrying type, but you may want to think twice before getting yourself involved in this. A man in my business develops a nose for danger, and this time, the stench is something fierce. You're a reporter, Ellie, and a fine one at that. Don't put that pretty neck of yours at risk, trying to play hero. That sounds- that just makes me want to go more, but- <laughs> Your concern is touching, but I assure you that I am ready for whatever dangers lie ahead. Also, she has the hero of light, the warrior of light, with her, so- Being a reporter is about more than selling papers. I have a duty to seek out the truth and convey it to the people. Come, Yorveth. Time is of the essence. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Elchuska. Hey, Kor. Can we just quick port there? No, we cannot. The Alchemist's Guild. That sounds dangerous enough, as long as they have bombs. Come, Fenrir Pup. We have business to attend. Corpse party so far for me, tempted by a number of others, but I want them on PC. PS4, not PC. Yeah. I, have, I always want everything on PC, basically. I mean, I have a PlayStation 4 now, so I could get it there as well, but... Given the issues I have sometimes... I don't know. Maybe when I get it to work properly without issue each time, then then I'll think about that. It's a short stream, Core. It's a really, really, really fast stream. Dark Souls 2? Good. Night in the Woods? Good. I don't know the last day of June. Mass Effect? Good. Darkest Dungeon? Good. Cuphead? Good. They're all on sale. Those are amazing games. Halt! Only authorized personnel are allowed in. They'll bugger me with a broadsword. They'll bugger me with a broadsword, guys. It's not Christmas anymore, but still. It's the gentleman of Light's adventuring companion and that catty but cute reporter from the Mithril Eye. That is so specific. Yeah, control. you can put the controller on your PC as well. Exactly. Am I streaming until midnight? No, it's a really fast stream. Because I probably wouldn't have time otherwise. And once the fireworks start, I kind of have to stay with my cat. I'm not serious. I'm not, I'm not serious. I'm not kidding. Because he, he's in my room right now. But the fireworks really freak him out. So I kind of can't be yelling. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just staying home. It was just, <laughs> I'm not actually... I don't, have, I don't have friends in real life. So, you know. No. Till Two Brothers? Mmm. Meh. I played that one on Let's Play, but I wasn't impressed. And, but I'm one of the few, so you're probably gonna enjoy it. I don't know. Well, well, if it isn't the self-styled warrior of light, tell me, what tall tales did you spin to the Sultan's sworn recruiter to land yourself in the position? Oh, was that him? Uh, uh, only the Twelve's honest truth, miss. Seeing that gentleman of light standing tall and triumphant that day, it moved me to the depths of my soul. Like, I vowed to put aside my sketchy past and serve the realm, just like my hero master Hildebrand. The Sultan's sworn were impressed with my commitment and my sword arm, and they gladly welcomed me into their ranks. You still lied, though. That's true, Game Wreck. <laughs> oh, you're gonna come over in that case. I don't think I have enough Oliwolo for that. Wait, don't tell me. You've come to assist Master Hildebrand in his investigation, haven't you? God, why didn't you say so sooner? It's the least I can do to help the mates who united me with my role model. That is... that is just weird. You'll be wanting to speak with Phyllis. She's one of the Sworn's best and something of a history buff, it seemed. When she heard the thief was targeting the four relics of Beladia, she personally stepped forward and volunteered to lead the investigation. Is that suspicious? I'm not sure. If anyone has the information you're looking for, it'll be her. Wait here while I get her. I can trust you not to touch anything, eh? I mean, I'm not in my rogue spec. New Year's party has Gen Z's. Also, the house not big enough for that. A pleasure to meet you, Phyllis. My name is Ellie from the Mithril Eye. As you may have heard, we're researching the Phantom Thief case and would appreciate any information that may shed light on recent events. 
The pleasure is mine, Miss Ellie, and if I'm not mistaken, that would make your companion friend here one Jorveth Falciana, yes? Everyone loves Jorveth. I just nod, I never talk. You know Jorveth? As any regular reader of the Mithril, I would. I must confess to being something of an unabashed fan of your work. Oh, dear lord. Though it hardly befits my station to say this, I was secretly hoping that you would show up to assist in the investigation. Doubtless the inspector, too, will also welcome a helping hand, because he never gets anywhere without me. Hey, guy who's actually smart. The Sultan Sworn, the elite of Uldah's elite. I can only hope they prove more competent than the bungling mercenaries I've dealt with thus far. Well, you hired them. You're going to bring in the New Year's Workman, your Witcher 2 playthrough. That is n that's never a bad thing. You can't go wrong with Witcher. Somehow I've avoided spoilers. That is... Yeah, I don't know how you manage that, to be really honest. Do you want, if you ever watch my videos, then I don't know how you manage that. Exactly, Core. You get it. Inspector Briardian, always one step ahead of us. Miss Ellie, Jorveth, a moment if you would. Right there, very good. Now face me and don't move an ill. Wait, what? Why? Are you taking a picture of me? I Inspector, what is that in your... <laughs> Wait, what? What did you do? Oh, you're checking if we're really us? Demasking dust, of course. A formula of my own devising that will allow us to see right through the thief's disguise. Analyzing the mask left behind at Vesper Bay, I was able to identify its composition and synthesize a counteragent that would dissolve the disguise whilst leaving the wearer's face intact. In any event, it would appear the two of you are indeed who you appear to be. What a surprise. You've had to selectively quit a few of your videos. A lot of them, probably. Brilliant, Inspector! The Phantom's Thief pulled the wool over our eyes for the last time! I doubt it. I fear it won't be so simple. She agrees. The ingredients necessary to produce the dust are exceedingly rare, even with the entire resources of the Sultan Sworn at our disposal. We were only able to produce a limited supply. How unfortunate. I see. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. That said, have you been able to identify the thief's next target? The hidden treasure of Ulda, the last of the four lost relics of Beladia. I fear not. Oh, this this conversation just leads nowhere. I've poured through the histories time and again, but the only mention of these four relics is a vague reference in an old prophecy. Most serious scholars consider it little more than a fairy tale. When darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall descend in the righteous glare. Is this a party quest? I feel like it is. I hope they tested the chemicals on someone else before they did on me. <laughs> I still have to play Divinity, so careful with spoilers. The legend goes on to describe four sacred artifacts, one each possessed by these four Baladian heroes, but makes no mention as to their appearance or nature. Three times we've tried to identify the thief's target, and three times has he foiled us by making off with something else entirely. Needless speculation will only play the fiend's strength. He's not wrong. All artifacts of Baladian origin have been sealed within the royal vault, and a regiment of our finest assigned to its protection. I furnished all the guards with supply of demasking de dust, and instructed them to be on the lookout for any suspicious personages. What if they turn into you? The black guard will be in chains before he, well, the blackguard, sorry, will be in chains before he can lay a dirty hand on the vault doors. Let's loan the treasures within. You have our word, my lady. Thank you, my lady. You too, Shirk. Well, you know, when it happens, anyway. <laughs> You're dying a lot. Apparently, safe scumming is just a thing there. At least that's what I've been told. But there are even more disturbing matters at hand. Doubtless you have heard of the recent rash, murder rash of murders perpetrated by our quarry, which I still don't believe is him. Evening, Thara. The Sultan's Sworn have launched an investigation, but the truth of the matter is that we have been far too occupied with the defense of the vaults to make any meaningful progress. We would be most grateful for any assistance you could offer, and yet if you hear bangs in the background, obviously New Year things. A lady asks, and a gentleman answers. Oh, this is Hildy again, isn't it? Ah, I'm not surprised. Get Milthar. Oh no. Don't auto-text. Hmm. There's not enough Hildebrand cosplayers in the world. 
Cast all worry from your heart, my lady. Hildebrandt, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has arrived to set right what is wrong and bring the wicket to justice. Thanks for the follow, Count. And a soon happy new year. And this must be the damasking dust that is the talk of the palace. Ah, but you need not waste your supply on me, Inspector. I assure you that I am exactly who I claim to be. That's what the thief would say. <laughs> nice. A shame, that. <laughs> oh, Beardine. Inspector Hildebrand, we were not expecting you. Well, your services are most welcome. I will share all I know about the recent murders. <laughs> Lines. Good morning as well. Soon Happy New Year to you too. The killer has claimed three victims thus far. The head of a publishing consortium, a high-ranking government official, and an influential scholar. Other than that, they were all influential figures in their respective circles. We can identify no common threads connecting the three. I also just realized that... What did I realize? What did she realize, children? Well, that I didn't actually start up my stream labels. But now I did. Oh ho, this will prove a most satisfying case to crack indeed. And what of the method of killing? Conked over the head with a cudgel? Gutted with a great sword? Strangled with a subligar, mayhap? He's, he's thinking this through a bit too much. I, I, I'm afraid that we've identified no pattern. In any event, the murderer has plots the death of two more even as we speak. How does he know that? We must take action and quickly. Have we thrown any dust on her yet? Understood, my lady. Clues may be scarce, but worry not. My realm-renowned powers of deduction are more than up to the task. I will see this burglar-turned-butcher delivered to justice. I'm sure you will. I will do all the work. Your presence is heartening indeed, Inspector Hildebrand. Friends, please take this damasking dust with you. I fear we can spare but a single sachet, but I trust you will put it to good use. I will put it all over everyone. All the time. In Ejito. Can I have the dust? Come to accompany me on yet another case, friend. I like your gusto. But if you're auditioning to be my assistant, I fear that role has already been filled most ably. I know I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Still, a gentleman welcomes the support of all his admirers. I shall henceforth name you thusly. Yordveth, my ever loyal associate. <laughs> uh, thanks. And now, my ever loyal associate, the investigation calls. I propose that we begin by ins inspecting the site at which the most recent victim met his demise. This guy, this, I, I can't hate him. It's impossible. I can't. My questioning about the palace has revealed that the scholar's body was found not far from the 80 sins of Sasamo. Oh. Even the most circumspect of criminals cannot help but leave behind clues. Clues that will not elude my gaze. Friends... Does be off. Pray alert me, should you see anyone suspicious, my ever loyal associate. We must put Miss Phyllis's demasking dusk to good use. Okay. Could anyone with five minutes to spare sign up for the solemn Trinity Guild Hest, perhaps? Let's see if he still needs help. While we move ourselves to... Oh, that's a while away. Uh, I guess we'll go... Yeah, we'll just... Uh, we'll just well, actually, that costs me... That costs me guilt. What's wrong with you, Chinzy? He doesn't know what he needs for the queue, I guess. Oh, no, he does. Any roll. Uh, that's... Wait, but the Trinity's a four-party guild house, isn't it? Or is that the... Oh, God, it's that one. Uh, yeah, alright, why not? Let's see what else we really need. Help a friend out. He's not really a friend, but he's a person. There we go. You're welcome. <laughs> Hilda Rance is sweetheart. He tries all the time. Hey Yosh, good evening. Just just doing a really, really quick guild test so Varkan Shadow Sun can move on with his life. I know what it's like to be stuck in a queue for years. And the other DPS have just left. 
I could no longer deal with this. Go on. Go on. Okay, I'm gonna enter now. Please don't bug the loading screen. It has not bugged the loading screen. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. I would cry if you didn't get cute with him. That's true. <laughs> but these these DPS have foiled his plan regardless. And I can't start the oh oh how how foiled must you have our plan? And now it's yeah, it's probably gonna interrupt this cutscene if it popped that easily. Let's wait a moment. Hey, Spirit Wolf. I remember leveling up and looking for people to queue with me. Ah. I usually try to queue with people when they when they ask for it in in the chat. Cause why not, right? Guild has like two seconds of your time. But I I fear that um I fear that that might be an issue here. I don't really want to interrupt a uh, video for it either. So I think the tanks just left to other guild hests instead now because they get insta queues all easily. Oh how unfortunate. Well, I hope it doesn't pop in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Q times man. I would tank I would queue as a tank, but I don't know that that's gonna mess with the queue again. Flowers? Yes, it is all becoming clear now. Our phantom killer is a florist who, in his hurry to escape, carelessly mislaid his wares. That's not even... No. Just what do you think you're doing, eh? Eh? I can eh? My oh, thanks for, for the reset, lullabies. Welcome back. Oh, you were already here, but welcome back again. I am the one what put those flowers there, eh? To honor the memory of my poor boy. You dare defile his memory? Eh? Eh? I don't know who talks like that. Nobody talks like that, but okay. A thousand pardons, my lady. Please accept my most sincere condolences on your loss. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. I swear to you on my own dear mother's name that your son's killer will be brought to justice. Well, I will do that for you. Um, as I was just saying, these flowers were clearly placed here by the family of the deceased, which can only mean absolutely nothing. L leave this place. Run away while you still can. Run far, far away. Why? Run or he'll turn you into a zombie just like my poor, poor boy. Wait, what? <laughs> but Hildy's already been a zombie. A living person turned into I a zombie? My Nonsense. For that. Thanks for the race up, Regen. Happy New Year to you too. Well, soon. Soon Happy New Year to you too. Not nonsense, my boy. History. Or have you not heard of the horrors of Sildi? I Ulda sibling nation against which we waged war centuries ago. I just sort of assume that he sounds like a know-it-all when he says this. Much blood was shed by both sides, eh? But I speak of far greater horrors than death. An unholy draught brewed by a Sildian's alchemist. Alchemist, sorry. One with the power to turn the living to the undead. That his nation might command an army of mindless, deathless soldiers. The traitors spurn. They turned my poor boy into a heap of rotten flesh and ran him through. But you won't hear that from the Sultan Sworn. Thal alone knows why, but they whisked the body away before I could so much as pay my last respects. The traitor spurn? I'd heard the stories, but I never thought them true. To be able to procure such a frightening thing, just who are we dealing with here? A Sildin, I'm sure of it. I, only a Sildin would know the recipe. Would he? But the last remnants of Sildir died... Four centuries ago, you say? <laughs> oh, they did, they did! <laughs> She's crazy. Why? He calls himself the Phantom Thief, he does, but did it ever occur to ye that he might be an honest to God Phantom? Eh? Eh? I, I, what, I don't like the woman. Is it already 2018 in Really? Like that far ahead? It's not yet. It's, it's, uh, half past seven here. Heard the tales from my own great-great-grandma, I did, about the four relics of Beladia and the powers they hold, the power to exact justice. A spectre of Sildi has returned to wreak vengeance on us. Woe, woe unto us all, have the four warriors of light forsaken us. Somebody throw some dust on her, by the way. Some dust? No? Okay. My dear boy, if only you'd become a traitor like your father. If only you'd kept your nose out of those history books and never so much breathed the accursed name of Sildi. But you did. And now we're doomed. Doomed! Doomed! 
Can we please throw some dust on her? I beg you. She's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I would also this a lot. And then everyone just sort of this. <laughs> hey, Ilja. <laughs> that bleeding horsons here somewhere. I can feel it in my follicles. Yeah, I also feel horsons in my follicles. Is it Wiley Cyprus? C Cyprian Wiley, sorry. <laughs> Yuxa. <laughs> the most potent hair tonic the realm has seen. Aye, that it was for all a fortnight before my flowing locks fell out all over again. And just as I was chatting up a lovely young lass at the quicksand, just to twist the knife an extra ilm. Mountebank, charlatan, I'll find that so-called inspector and his sorry band and pull every last strand of hair from their bleeding skulls. Oh, that's the guy from an earlier quest. I remember him. We did give him beautiful hair. You're watching the stream while driving. Oh, dear Lord. Sorry, don't do that. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. It's not overreacting. I'm doing voice acting. This is literally how I've been doing the Hildebrands of... Yeah, every time. Actually, Final Fantasy has quite a lot of swear words just straight up in the text, which is amazing. Hey, Tom. Hildebrand is onto something, or at least he thinks he is. Well, this... Holy crap! <laughs> Let me ask if this is still in the queue. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not gonna wait for the queue if he's not. Well, we'll wait again longer. We're almost there, though. So I hope we can just pick it up and leave. Hey, Raven. Good evening. It's all becoming clear to me now. The dear old woman's testimony has confirmed that which I had suspected from the start. But you haven't thrown any dust on her face. Like a zombie picking away at its rotting flesh, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, has peeled away the foul scab of uncertainty to reveal the truth within. Which is, open your ears and feast your minds on the fruits of my flawless deduction. Ahem. Our phantom thief is a phantom indeed. A wayward spirit caught between the realm of the living and dead for nigh on centuries since meeting a tragic end on the battlefield. I find that really hard to believe. As such, our course of action is clear. Thanks for the follow, Raven. <laughs> we must placate this tortured soul that it might abandon its vengeful vendetta and travel to the next life in peace. Or, you know, violently. That's also okay. But what is the true nature of the Spectre's grievances? Without his knowledge, we cannot hope to assuage its rancor. Let us begin our search at the Thaumaturge's guild. Doubtless, the tomes there contain a wealth of knowledge on the ill blood between the sibling nations. Notwithstanding the abject stupidity of everything else that came out of your mouth, some knowledge of Sildim might serve as well. Go research as you will, and do take as much time as you need, because he doesn't want to talk in them. Of course. You can count on me, Inspector Briardian. Whatever knowledge is to be gleaned at the guild, it shall not escape my inspector's eye. I am actually going to turn down my microphone a little bit because I just realized that I recorded way louder than that. <laughs> I got to do a, a, a maniacal laugh twice in the Hildebrand, Hildebrand quest now. It's just, just part of the game, I guess, now. You still have a prime sub open now that I have it back. Did they steal it from thee? I don't stream Final Fantasy all the time. But the Hildebrand questline is too good not to stream. <laughs> okay, let's find out about ghosts. Is that around the corner? It is. But if this is another little cutscene, then I'm... Pretty sure I'm gonna get a pop in the middle, but let's have a talk. Gods be good! You're the adventurer who saved me back at the ruins! I did that. Researching the ancient feud between Uldan and Sildi, are you? Why, 
I'm pleased to say I have more than a passing familiarity with ancient history. To understand the history of the sibling nations, one must go back further still to the birth of their mother nation, Belladia. That's the relics we're looking for. The fifth astral era was an age of untold wonders, when the arcane arts burgeoned and the great civilizations that commanded such powers flourished. This age of enlightenment would not last, however. Power bred avarice, and avarice bred resentment. It culminated in the War of the Magi, which brought the great floods of the sixth umbral, er, umbral calamity, I was going to say era there, which in turn swallowed once proud nations and left a battered wasteland in its wake. Crying. Mages were reviled and persecuted for having caused this catastrophe, this sounds like the Witcher world more, with many forced to leave their homelands or face death. It was a small band of those survivors that found their way to Thanalan, where they would found the nation of Beladia some eight centuries agone. Ah, imagine, a government of mages, by mages, and for mages. What wonders might have been wrought had Beladian civilization survived to this very day. Alas, this was not to be. And you're not going to tell me the rest of the story. That makes me sad. I never got Susan's wolfie, even though I farmed the crap out of it. Ah, I actually still have to farm the white one as well. I'm just going to go with totems for that one, though. You had to cancel it since I had no income. Ah, clever. Easy, you know? Happy New Year as well. Soon, soon. I, some people here already have a Happy New Year. So. You don't say. It's not every day someone comes to our halls to research Silde. As a fellow student of history, though, I more than welcome the conversation. Likewise. Meladian civilization flourished in relative peace until twin sons were born to the royal family. The two were fierce rivals, and when they came of age and their father passed, each one claimed that he was the rightful heir to the throne. With neither son willing to relinquish his claim, they agreed to split their kingdom in two, forming the twin nations of Ulda and Silde. But not unlike the two proud princes, the sibling nations developed a penchant for rivalry. That is unsurprising entirely because you're being led by two people that have rivalries going on. Greetings, traveler. You would learn of the war between Ilda and the fallen Sultanate of Sildi. It would be my pleasure to enlighten you. The two city-states coexisted for several generations, until the bad blood between them boiled over, cu culminating in outright war. Why does no one ever tell you about this outside of these quest lines? As you might deduce from the present state of affairs, Ulda emerged victorious, leaving its once proud sibling nation in smoldering ruins. As the histories tell it, the battles fought between the sister nations were the stuff of nightmares. In a desperate attempt to overcome Ulda's superior numbers, Sildin alchemists devised a most horrific stratagem, employing a frightful formula known as the Traitor's Spurn. They brought their fallen warriors back as undead soldiers. Don't we already have necromancers for that right now? I, I did a lot more Lakshmi than I did Susan. So there we go. <laughs> we, had, we, had the, we had the record for a while. That didn't last long though, because we were, we were kind of at the start. I should find a static, actually. Now that I... Because I haven't really raided in ages. Yeah. That happens to statics, I guess. Some theories have it that they even employed the potion on those of the living who were too weak or wounded to fight. Send shivers up the spine just thinking about it, no? It is truly a crowning glory of our fair nation that our forebears were able to emerge victorious against such horrors. Is this a Halloween stream now? Kokobuki! I should talk to you as... as Do I even have enough room in my inventory for this? No, I don't. Oh, one or more items missing. Even better. Hmm, 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 Jordvath? Uh, I think he was lost in thought. thought. <laughs> Witcher one, <laughs> Kalkstein. Don't surprise me like that. What's this? You're here not for your studies, but to learn of the bad blood between Ulda and Silde. Two scales, one of gold and one of silver. The gold of Ulda, weighing prosperity and power. The silver of Silde, weighing knowledge and power. But the powers sought by the two nations differed greatly. Yes, greatly indeed. 
The power wrought by Uda and prosperity was that of justice and good, while the power wrought by Sildin knowledge was horrific beyond belief. The power to rip the living soul out of a man and render him a mindless killing machine. On this matter, the histories are clear. But riddle me this, my friend. Who writes the histories, and what does this say of the words writ within? Yes, truth can be elusive and fickle as the shifting sands. As one example, did you know that in the war against Sildi, Uldan and Amalja warriors fought side by side? Likely you did not, and neither did I, until I encountered a fading passage in an ancient text buried deep in our archives. And yet, in the histories read by the populace, well, there we go. You will see no mention of this most fascinating fact. <laughs> this poor guy is never going to get his duty, man. Might it be that someone at some time deemed this particular truth less than convenient? Hmm. Hmm. But I have said enough already. Oh, they're trying to erase history. Yeah. Well, we raided literally one night a week. For like two or so hours and we were st we just none of us really cared so we got to uh the fourth or the third boss and then we were like okay we got the tactics down but then we just didn't raid enough and one of our static healers was like you're not raiding enough and he was totally right of course so he left and we couldn't be bothered to find someone else so we just sort of eh, we just sort of floundered away and everyone just quit i think I'm, I'm actually the only one still playing of those people pretty sure oh come on can can we can we just do it can we just give this guy his his solemn trinity the guy needs his solemn trinity how dare you i i can't start if i start in a new little cutscene now it's definitely gonna be where am i oh that's actually where i am it's gonna be way too long Uh, I think Vark Varkon's asking again for more people. <laughs> Come on, Solemn Trinity, you can do it. Yeah, it's also because because I was making videos literally. I was I'm making videos every day now, <clears throat> so I didn't even have that much time to just like the grinding for anything. Not that it's much work, but like I literally only raid logged, so I'm I'm a monster. Anyway, let's. 3.30 a.m. So wait, so is it 2018 where you are, Wiglets? Or is it still 2017? Oh yeah, that's definitely a cutscene. My ever-loyal associate, tell me, what have you learned from your questioning of the scholars in these halls? I hope it's a short one. Indeed, as it happens, I have learned much the same. Let us take a moment to review and allow my peerless powers of deduction to work their magic. A war of succession divides the great civilization of Meladia, giving rise to the sibling nations of Ulda and Sildi. The two nations coexist for some generations until ill blood boils over, culminating in outright war. Daunted by Ulda's superior military might, Sildi employs their advanced alchemical knowledge to horrific ends, transforming their own citizens, alive and dead, into a fearsome undead legion. Yes, I believe I have it. The facts at hand have led me to one unassailable conclusion. Our phantom thief is a descendant of doomed Sildi, who seeks vengeance against those who reduced his countrymen to slavering zombies. To pacify his soul and send him peacefully to the next world, there is but one course of action. We must find the Sildin statesman who conceived this dreadful stratagem and have him apologize to the thief in person for the suffering he has wrought. That's too simple. That's way too simple. <laughs> a brilliant plan! Perhaps you'd like to go find yourself a shovel and uh, dig this statesman out of his grave yourself? Leaving aside this nonsense of spirits and spectres, it appears increasingly likely that our quarry shares some link to Sildi. His garish garb is no doubt meant to invoke the silver scales of the fallen sultanate. This Sildin connection would also serve to explain the rare knowledge of Baladian relics our thief clearly possesses. But what of the murder victims? What common thread amongst them could have incurred the ire of our adversary? Stop blowing things up, please. A few people in town spoke of a man sighted calling upon the victims in the past days. Those who saw him said he had a most frightened air about him. Wait, 
Yes, it's coming to me, of course. My keen investigator senses ring out with a voice loud and clear. This man Miss Ellie speaks of just might know something. You don't say. You really should stop thinking so hard. You are like to strain a brain muscle. Miss Ellie, who is this man and where might we find him? Good question. My sources identified the man as Gugodia, a traveling merchant known to frequent Horizon. Shall we pay him a visit? Shall we indeed? Yes, we shall. Everyone nods and leaves. Are you that only Tango? I just, I, I don't know how we're, we keep losing healers. Well, I hope you had a very, very merry, happy new year, indeed. Wiglets. Wait. Ah, that's a while away. Off we go then. Maybe I should just queue as a healer. You're watching me in the past. Well, it doesn't say anywhere that it's still 2017. Well, I, I'm telling you it's still 2017 here. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely going to be a really long cutscene again. So, or well, long, long. I'll wait for this party to actually pop. I don't know, man. Should I just queue as a tank as well? I feel like I should just queue as a tank instead. Will I play WoW next, Tax Pack? I will indeed. I will absolutely. I'm gonna un I'm unsub. I'm gonna withdraw and I'm gonna go as tank instead. Where's my. There you are. See if that works out better. That or a healer. What is needed in the guild has roulette right now. Tank, yeah. We shall try. So much free sushi and ramen here. Jealous. Yeah, there's just two tanks here. I feel like a, I feel like healer would help more. Because now it says there's like there's no. Yeah, I'm gonna queue as healer instead. Sort of fishing out what the best the best thing to queue with is right now. That's true. We probably could. We actually no. We absolutely. I could solo that, but. Yeah, I could easily solo that, actually. <laughs> Effort, I guess. Does it count for his bonus if he hasn't done it yet? Does it count for his bonus? I don't even know. You think the other guy left Q? I mean, just a minute ago he was shouting for... For the Solemn Trinity still. Can I check what he is? I can't check what he is. The amount of trouble I'm going through for a guy I don't know. I get his- I understand his pain now though, because this thing is actually difficult to get into. I'm gonna ask him if he would rather just set up a solo. Recipient is in a restricted area. Okay, so he's absolutely queued for something else. Or he's already in, which means we stop bothering now. <laughs> well, I, he's either given up or, or gotten there, so we're good. He, yes, if you've got business, make it quick. My time's too valuable to waste chatting with every stranger who passes by. He seems a bit concerned. Forgive us, good sir. My name is Ellie, a reporter with the mithril eye. Never blinking, all seeing, you know the rest. I was wondering if we could trouble you with just a few questions. Was it for love or money that you killed them? Yes, you, the thief of many faces. Excuse you? Me, a thief? What is this nonsense? I don't know who you are, but I ain't got the time or the patience for this mummery. Now, if you'll excuse me, an important client awaits. I thought I recognized that voice. Who's this? Oh, hello. Lady Dorilda. I didn't like her. Well met indeed. Pray tell, whatever brings you to these environs this fair evening. Oh, why, I live here, you ham-headed halfwit. Inspector Briardine, 
This is an unexpected pleasure. Do you have some business with my associate here, pray tell? Uh, Gregoria, we can discuss business after. Pray lend the inspector here, the handsome one, whatever assistance he requires. Ah, oh, she's into elves as well. I suddenly like her. <laughs> well, you can't know everything, Grumpy. But, but Lady Gerilda, what about... Ah, yes, my dear Maria is name day present. I had in mind one of the prize pieces from Eshtame's latest seasonal collection. You would be able to procure one for me, yes? Or shall I eliminate the middleman and make the trip to Ulda myself? Is that a threat? I think it's a threat. I'll say it just once more, Guguria. I expect you to give the inspector and his companions your full assistance. They... Yes, even the stupid one. Helped me regain something truly price priceless. Yes, something more valuable than any mere trinket. Her daughter, right? That was... That was okay. I'm pretty sure that was her daughter. We the good guys. Alright, alright. I'll tell you what I know. But you didn't hear it from me, got it? I was looking into the killing on behalf of a... Client of mine. The thief's got himself some of that zombie dust. Traitor Spurn, was it? And his cards speak of five victims. It got me thinking. Silda, five victims? Hi, the Arbiters of Truth. Of course. The Arbiters of Truth? I'm not familiar with the name. And my cat's had enough of the bangs now as well. Ah, if you would be, uh, full sentences, on account of them being something of a secret society and all. Influential personages of the Sultanates. You see, working from the shadows to keep false knowledge about the Ulda Silde conflict from reaching the ears of folk like you and me. False knowledge? Pray tell, just what sort of knowledge might that be? Th false balls! Don't make me say no more! I've got a family to feed! Do you? Very well, just tell us one last thing. Who hired you and where can we find him? Hob. His name's Hob. When he heard what I said, he told me that he was going to set sail for Limsa with his five best sellswords to guard his back. Said there were many prying eyes in, at the airship docks. Said he had a private ship docked and waiting for him at Vesper Bay. But, but you remember, you didn't hear none of this from me. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. This man Hob must be one of the killer's targets. Doubtless he also knows the identity of the remaining one. I doubt that. They say the Arbiters are so secretive... They don't even know each other's true identities. Now, don't ask me how all that works, but Hobbs got high-ranking friends in the Brass Blades. Once he heard the victims had all been zombified, he panicked, because he knew that he'd be next. Thank you very much, my kind sir. Once again, the ancient Manderville art of parley has procured for us a key morsel of knowledge. Let us seek out this Hob fellow and see what he can share with us. And let us hurry. The man's life is in danger even as we speak. Or is it? Aw, oh, Cor! You're actually being positive and nice! You too, man. High five. Elves, bitches. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, I've actually closed mine. Okay, I won't, I won't use this one. I'll use this one. I like that one too, so it's fine. Who's this? I still think there should be a teleport over here, but you know, that's just me. I feel like there should be a teleport. Not saying that I don't enjoy the ride every so often, but still. Are we there yet? I think not. Hello friends. Oh, I have to be here? I have to be here. On the way to? Is this the guy who we're supposed to defend and then kind of failed at? Oh, Master Hop, is everything quite all right? That's not him. No, stand back, Ellie. He's a zombie now. Yup. Hunger. I hunger for your brains. Okay. Damn, there's no saving the man. Yorveth, do what you must. I will do what I must. 
the demon horse is named Yorveth. It's not called. It's not the demon. Th this is Yorveth. My character is Yorveth. <laughs> and my chocobo is called Vrayhet, so. Vrayhet. Rolling R's. Yes, my first hand knowledge of zombies tells me this particular shade of green is unmistakably that of the undead. It would seem we were a few moments late to the scene. I am not surprised. A message. And then there was one. Yep. It's still weird how they try to conceal his identity by just making him a puppet. There it is again! Hmm? Something the matter, Inspector? Indeed, not sure there is. Ever since I picked up the trail of the Phantom Thief, I've had this fleeting sense. A sense that someone or something is watching us. Hmm. Hey, Sanch. You know what? I'm, I'm almost going to turn on the stream again already because it was just like a lightning stream. But, you know, because I, I had time. I had time. The thief might be close at hand. We should be careful. Should we? For the moment, let us return and report our findings to Miss Phyllis. Secret society or no, knowing the identities of its members may yet lead us to the final victim. I'm always sober, Cor. I don't do getting drunk. Hey, Fuffy. Good evening. Have fun, Stanch. <laughs> Happy New Year in advance. I, too, had best return to the Mithril Eye. Let's meet up again after. I'll see what new clues I can uncover in the meantime. You will do nothing of the sort, Miss Ellie. These streets are far too dangerous for you to walk alone. Inspector! Inspector, I'll go with her! You're... Okay, you're not really good in a fight, but still. If you insist, Nash, then I give you my leave. But pray be wary. Not just of the thief, but of Miss Ellie. She has quite the temper, as we both know. Wow. There's that temper. <laughs> what is it, Brardeen? Miss Ellie, there is something I must tell you when this case is over. Be safe and promise me that you will not attempt anything rash as you did that time when the fiend took aim at my own life. I think he has a crush on her. Your life? It's... Ah, at Costa del Sol. Yes, that was quite the ordeal, wasn't it? He is so crushing on her. I'll be careful, I promise. I eagerly await the day when I may hear what it is you would share with me. Is it? Ah, thank you too, Stanch. <laughs> exactly, don't ride drunk. Yeah, Artwicky coming in with the good advices. A secret vow? Oh, consider my interest peaked as well, good inspector. Now let us be off. Miss Phyllis awaits our report. <laughs> this is totally a thing, Gabriel. This is totally a thing. That better be in the conclusion of the story. Or else. My favorite area in the game. Let me show you where the- actually, yeah, no. Oh, we're already- t I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what my favorite area in the game is. It's the Stormblood area. You probably already know. It's a lot of people's favorite area, I think. Alchemist skilled. <laughs> oh, someone actually whispered me. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a fourth victim fell. Have mercy. Will you? Were you able to glean aught of a connection to the other victims? The Arbiters of Truth? No, it cannot be. But it is. Somebody! Help! What? Uh, are you okay? Oh, oh, it was someone else. I thought it was Phyllis just suddenly saying that. Miss Ellie? The voice came from the direction of the vault. We must hurry. I bet it's a fake Ellie. I bet it is. Ooh, someone got very drunk. Miss Ellie, are you hurt? No. That man! I only ought to ask him a few questions. Before I knew what was happening, he was upon me. I could only... Slap him over the head with a bottle. Bash his brains with a conveniently placed bottle of meat, it would seem. <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side, Miss Ellie. That said, is Nashu not with you? She saw a figure lurking in the shadows and went off in pursuit before I could stop her. Do you guys want to sprinkle some dust? This man wears the armor of a sultan sworn square, squire, yet his face is unfamiliar to me. Something is amiss, is it? Ooh. The thief of many faces!
basis to think we would find our man like this. Thrice and again did the fiend elude our grasp, but no more. By virtue of a gentleman's ingenious deductions and a lady pugilistic's puissance, I declare this case closed. It's not closed. It's not. I return this satchet to you, Miss Phyllis, with whilst the gesture was appreciated, in the end it proved superfluous to my cracking of the case. And he falls out right over. You are an idiot. While you're at it, is there anything else of immense value that you'd like to wantonly destroy? And he changes again. What is the meaning of this? Ingenious. A double disguise planted by the thief to throw us off his trail, no doubt. This is Gigway, one of my most capable men. I assigned him to guard the vault and outfitted him with an ample supply of demasking dust. It is inconceivable that the thief could so easily elude his grasp. Is it? Is it? Come on, Hildy, is it? Unless the thief was not wearing a mask. He's actually saying something intelligent. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Miss Ellie? No. That's impossible. I was right! I'm, I'm right too often. Of course, it all makes perfect sense. With the phantom thief to thank for her burgeoning readership and rise to the ranks at the Mithril Eye, Miss Ellie could not bear to face the possibility of her story of a lifetime coming to an end. Thus, she hatched a plan and used all the fireworks in it. Like, a lot of it. Like, unreasonable amounts. Can you, can you stop? Please. Please stop. Thank you. Oh no, okay, no, just go on. Well, this'll go on for a while. <laughs> My lady, the vault has been breached! The wise man's whisper, it's gone! My cat is unusually calm about this. Dexter. Hey. Hey, Vint. Yeah. He's fine. For her foul crimes against the Sultanate, I hereby declare Ellie of the Mithril Eye, the thief of the many faces, an enemy of the state. Deploy all troops and do not rest until she is in custody. I don't believe that that's a thing, though. <laughs> it's clearly not her, because we're all not seeing her. Yeah, because it's this guy and it's not her. Nah. And now the game is truly afoot. Is it? <laughs> Kill Kamesh. Bah! What is the meaning of all this racket and rumpus? I know, right? And just as we were about to make our triumphant return, isn't that so, Enkidu? It is. Totally is. <laughs> Internet things. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's about to be attacked. Miss Ellie! Miss Ellie! That shadow you said you saw, I think it was just a dormouse! Oh, ow. Taking her disguise now. To think he'd literally stumble face first onto the second mask. His good good fortune truly knows no end. But not to worry, yet as I dare say the Phantom Thief has another trick or two up his sleeve. No doubt. <laughs> it's clearly not Ellie. They're all gonna hunt the poor lad now. So rude. Another one. Not even the shockingest turn of events will deter the famed agent of inquiry. Are you sure about that? My ever loyal associate, we must find Miss Ellie and quickly. Surely, if confronted by her constant companions, she can still be convinced to abandon this fool plan. It's not her. Oh, Miss Phyllis, I thought you had already departed in the company of your men. But all for the better. Shall we conduct the search together? Thanks for being so tolerant. That's like, that's like half a year. That is literally half a year, man. That is time. It is. Thanks for being so much. 
Ooh, okay, well, we'll conduct the thing together, I guess. But who says it's not her? You never know. I fear that would only put them at greater risk. Them? You see, the fifth and final member of the Arbiters of Truth, the Phantom Thief's final target, is none other than me! Oh, Hildebrandt Manderville? Really? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, it is her. Ah, oh, man. Mind you, it is not a role I sought of my own accord. My name and my passion for history are somewhat well known in the Sultanate. One day I received an anonymous letter stating that a position in the committee had opened and I had been chosen to fill it. The letter went on to enumerate my duties to prevent the spread of historical lies that would sully the name of our illustrious nation. As a high-ranking officer in a Sultan sworn, I was deemed to be in a particularly unique position to serve as an arbiter. I knew that there were other members of the organization, but was told nothing of their names or identities. To think that my unknown compatriots were the victims all along are oh, crying. Do they ever explain why Lucia has a white Magitek armor? No. <laughs> they do not. They just do, I guess. Just know that the chat is literally filled with red feathers. It is, right? Ah, uh, once a bird, always a bird. I cannot put any more lives in danger. I will sequester myself in a place where my presence can cause no harm until such a time as the killer is apprehended. Your concern for our well-being is most touching, Miss Phyllis, but there is no need for such caution. As a seasoned inspector, I am more than capable of protecting a lady in distress, and as a gentleman, that is exactly what I shall do. She bought it from the cash shop. That's what happened. <laughs> my associates here also stand at your side. Speaking of which, has anyone seen my loyal assistant? Yeah. Inspector, over here! You're fake. You're fake. You are a fake. Yes. Ah, there you are, Nashu. You really shouldn't run off on your own like that. I was worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Inspector. Miss Ellie said she saw somebody in the shadows, so I went to take a look. Now, there wasn't anything there but a dormouse, but it was a really cute dormouse, you see. It just kept squeaking and scurrying away, and I just... You're trying too hard. You're trying too hard, Phantom Menace. And I think... I'm wondering, see? I'm wondering, see, maybe Hildy knows that maybe she's scared of mouses or mice? Maybe she's scared of mice and that's what's tipping him off right now. You never know. You don't have the ranger emotes. The ra- Oh! Oh, I love those! You can buy those at the cash shop now, though. Like a packet. Pardon me for a moment, Nasher. Yes, my inspector sent speaks to me. Someone is watching us. Yorveth, let us split up and canvas our surroundings. I think- I think he knows. I think he knows. I think that was a giveaway. But my favorite emote is actually this not- uh, where is it? My favorite emote is- I didn't actually put it in here, did I? No, I didn't. Uh, where are you? Where are you? This one. It's amazing. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> oh. The Phantom Menace. It's close enough. Trying to find a phantom, and he is a menace. A water-stained letter lies conspicuously on the floor. Be wary and be warned. I can only do one of the two. Pick. Eureka! <laughs> a water-stained letter lies conspicuously on the floor. Trust no one, and your friends all the less. Well, if you've ever watched me play Dark Souls, you already know that I trust no one. Regardless. Another one. This will avail you well. Use it wisely. You obtain a sachet of demasking dust. In the next instant, you feel an intimidating presence behind you. Uh... I knew it! <laughs> ho ho ho! It's not Christmas anymore, but it still fits. If it isn't my beloved son's staunch companion, the mighty Yorveth. I was in the area on a matter of business, which I curtailed when I felt a suspicious presence from the shadows. Pursuing it led me here. Mayhap it is the same for you. Throw some dust in his face. Throw some dust in his- Why does no one actually use the dust? Why does no one actually use the dust? <laughs> Please! Oh ho, so your pursuit of the thief of many faces has taken quite the unexpected turn, and now you have come upon a series of uh, anonymous letters? He never wears pants. He doesn't need pants. 
He's a cop bird, come on. Manderville men, they're just, they're doing the thing with the body and stuff. Mayhap our watcher in the shadows is a friend? Or is this but another trap laid by the fiend? Yes, the plot thickens like a dollop of salamander oil. That's not a th that's not something people say. I'm gonna say. In either event, I dare say the circumstances call for utmost caution. The thief could be anywhere or anyone. Myself include excluded, of course. No mere mouse could replicate the physique of this Manderville man. I, I totally agree. That said, I fear my dear Hildy may be in a bit over his head this time. Allow me to assist in your investigation. Were anything to happen to Hildebrand, his dear mother would, uh, not be pleased. You didn't throw any dust. I would still throw dust. Why wouldn't you throw dust? There's no point not to throw dust. Just need to throw more dust. That's what you need. Good bird! If the sender speaks true, the villain even now lurks within our midst. And yet we have but a single sachet of de demasking dust at our disposal. We must identify the imposter beyond a reasonable doubt before we proceed. You know the players better than I, Urvath. What say you have a few words with each of them and see if aught seems amiss? But I know it's her! Okay, well, if they, if they showed us so obviously who it is, then I don't know. Am I doomed to share the same fate as the others? I sooner die than become one of those things. Miss Ellie is the phantom thief. It is the only logical conclusion, and yet I cannot help but feel that another truth still evades us. That, that's like the thing that she's not. Inspector Briardine told me all about it. Who'd have thought Miss Ellie was the phantom thief all this time? She sure fooled me. Ha 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 ha. You should, Wiglets. He's such a winner. Nothing particularly odd about any of them, you say? It stands to reason. The fiend would not take such a risk if he were not utterly confident that he could pull off the ruse. Curses. This one's not half the fool his son is. I must elude him, and quickly. Time is of the essence. Why can't I throw dust on his face? I question the sultan sworn outside. To a man they insist they have seen naught of Miss Ellie. Wherever could she have gone? F Father, what brings you here? Well, I was looking for pants, and I decided to, to just not. Pants. Yes, finally the pieces are coming together. Now, if you would kindly stand still and shut up, the fiend already stands among us. Oh? Inspector Briardine, I should hope you're not doubting me. While I'm quite convinced that even a master impersonator would struggle to recreate your particular brand of idiocy, the fact remains that anyone here who has spent even a moment alone must be considered a suspect. The thief has proven to be highly efficient at assuming new identities. An astute observation, my gangly friend. I'd say this occasion calls for a dose or two of that powder Jorveth here found earlier. There wouldn't happen to be another satchel of two lying about, would there? Probably not. What remains of our supply has already been distributed to the search party, but worry not, they should be reporting back within a bell's time. Ha! Time might be against me, but just to watch, I'll wiggle my way out of this and turn you into the reeking, drooling corpse you deserve to be. How, why are you like this? Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> I will do that. If I had a dress, I totally would, Wiglets. Thanks for follow, Wild Phantom. Phantom? Wow. I, I'm so into the Phantom plot, everyone's a Phantom now. I would love to dress up like her, because her armor's cool. I fear that is more time than we can afford, Miss Phyllis. Fortunately, my powers of deduction will lay the fiend's face bare within minutes. We know that, given the choice, the thief prefers to impersonate familiar personages, as Miss Ellie has had only passing interactions with my dear father. We can safely eliminate him from consideration. Really? That leaves myself, Nashu, and Yorvath here. Nashu and I, in particular, have had a close and extended relationship with our suspect. I shall begin by questioning my own assistant. I assure you that none know her better than me, okay? Brilliant reasoning as ever, Inspector. Go on, ask me anything. Of all the times for this overstuffed buffoon to start talking sense. If he asks me anything too obscure, my cover is as good as blown. My relationship with Nashu is so close, I dare say at times it is as if we share a mind. If this Nashu is truly my ever-loyal assistant, she should have no trouble completing my thoughts. Ahem. I am a Mander Mander Manderville man. 
that's not even just that. Uh. Sure, Grumpy. That was not difficult. Doing what only a man of. I swear to God. From the peaks of Curthus to Thanalan, Mander, Mander, Manderville. Man, you're the best inspector. Oh my god, how is he this dumb? <laughs> I still need that bird, by the way. I still need many birds. Having said that. A perfect score! You may rest easy, dear friends. This is unmistakably, unequivocally, indubitably the true Nashu. How are you like this? I've never loved you more than now, you marvelous mutton had you. How dare you, Nashu? Is something the matter? Just because you've picked up a few more wrinkles beneath the eyes, there's no need to avert that charming face of yours. Wrinkles? Wrinkles? Look who's talking, you crusty, cretinous old... Ooh. Uh... Genius Inspector? Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well! Why not? <laughs> for the sub tube, sir! Welcome to the murder flock! This time we're solving a murder, though, so it's not quite, but it's close enough. The charade is up, Miss Ellie. No, it's not. Yes. How is he going to escape from this? Not going to be Ellie, is it? I was going to say, it's definitely not. Wait a minute. Miss Ellie, you look somehow different, really. Dun dun dun! But th th that's where you end it. Come on! <laughs> hey, you're a woman. Just, just here in woman. Who is this unfamiliar woman? I was gonna say, am I supposed to recognize her? Why am I getting a glamour dispeller for that? I mean, I get, I get that it makes sense for the quest line, but. Seven hells done in by a muscle-bound mutton head and his motley troop of mummers. Do you know who I am, lady? Just who are you? Your resemblance to Miss Ellie is most uncanny, and yet. Consultant Inspector Briardine, once again you fail to measure up to your lofty reputation. Wait, what? Of course we resemble each other. Ellie is, after all, my own flesh and blood. My beloved sister and my eminently capable partner in crime. Really? Interesting. A thousand faces I may wear, but only one name do I bear. You can call me Sissy. Charmed, I'm sure. What the hell? So she was a part of it? Are you quite all right? Why, you look as if you've seen a ghost. Despite my moniker, I assure you that Ellie and I are no spectres. What we are, mind you, are the last living scions of Sildin aristocracy. Really? Well, that kind of throws a wrench into the whole um, romance plot, doesn't it? <laughs> Bemused, are you? Befuddled to find two sisters behind the mask? Try using your brains once in a while. Every time you encountered the thief, Ellie was standing right in your midst. No! The thief that four times stole the show, oh, and those priceless relics, was me. Meanwhile, Ellie hid in plain sight, supplying me with just the knowledge I needed to stay one step ahead of my pursuers, all while spinning the hair-raising tales of my exploits that won the hearts of this nation. We owe a lot to you, truly. Why, without the tales of your hapless attempts to catch me, we would... We never could have risen to these heights of celebrity... Wow. That's definitely crimes! <laughs> I know, I love that. I love when that happens. Simultaneous emotes. Miss Sissy, from a gentleman to a lady, I would ask you one thing and one thing only. Just what is it that you and Miss Ellie hope to accomplish with all of your schemes? Justice! Four hundred years ago, Uldan dogs reduced our great nation to a nation of zombies. At long last, the cowards that would still justify these foul deeds will suffer the same fate. Wait, wasn't, wasn't she gonna fix that? Wasn't she gonna... Make sure people knew what was actually going on? Because I thought that was a thing. Wait. The history say that it was Sildi that turned their own men into zombies. The histories lie! And you work from the shadow, silencing those who would speak the truth. You should have died with your fellow's false arbiter. She's new, also. It was Ulda that ordered the creation of that dreadful powder and wielded it as a weapon against our proud ancestors. The history of your glorious sultanate is built on a lie. Lies. 
What is this madness you speak, woman? Not madness, truth. The powder in my possession was stolen from the Uldan army four centuries ago by one of my ancestors. They say it was his final act of courage in the moments before his leg fell off and his rotting head dropped from his shoulders. This is the truth that the histories don't tell. The truth that this doe-eyed sultan sworn would kill to keep buried deep in the sands of Thanalan. She's not really saying much. But your time of reckoning is nigh. Oh yes, before long you and everyone in his, this rotten nation will know firsthand the horrors of my ancestor. Why? Why? Why, though? Hey, Magi. And Maverick, also. Accompanying the shotguns. And just what do you mean by that? Oh, how the idiots lap up the stories. A masked crusader for justice. A dashing rebel wa waging battle against power and authority. Oh, if only they knew. But they will see soon enough. When they're eating each other's brains out on the streets. That's great. That's lovely. In the last days before our proud nation was razed to the ground, a band of the final survivors stole a vast quantity of the powder from the Uldan vaults, hiding it away in a secret vault sealed with powerful magics. I can't tell if we're supposed to take her seriously. I think she's telling the truth, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I kind of feel like the plan's going to backfire on her a bit. The sole means by which the vault may be opened? By assembling four secret relics from Belladia, Four relics once housed in the royal palace of Sildi, before the Uldan dogs stole them and claimed them from their own. And so it dawns upon you at last. Yes, even as we speak, Ellie makes for the vault the four relics safely in hand. Just think, one day you'll be able to tell your grandchildren you were there when zombie powder rained down on Ulda. No, wait, you'll all be dead. <laughs> There, we got another one. Oh, she probably is. Preposterous. Preposterous indeed. Why do all villains tell the hero their plans at a state where the hero can stop it? Monologuing, man. But first, you, my dear. You will not even have the pleasure of looking upon the last moments of your precious homeland. Let your flesh rot like all of your rotten lies. Aw, that's just rude. I think not, Miss Sissy. I mean, he's been a zombie before already, so he doesn't even care. He's just really into that. Hildebrandt! You idiot! Just for once could you not get in the way! So rude. Hey, Weiss. Godbert Manderville. I can't even trust your sorry ass to look after him for a day... It's his wife, isn't it? It's totally his wife. Oh my god, it is. That's amazing. <laughs> I knew it. That presence watching over us from the shadows. It was you, my dear wife. <laughs> wow, she's actually just a, a deity or something. That's just how people fall down in this world. Ahem. Am I to understand that you are Hildebrand's mother? <laughs> That's just what this game is like. Smiley face. Aye, this is more like it. Hand to hand, skillet to skillet. It's enough to send a warrior's pulse racing. Prepare yourself, Jordveth. The time of our final confrontation is nigh. Really? Here? Now? I was gonna say, no it's not. <laughs> how can how can she not be Hildebrand's mother? Come on! Do you have papa toes for brains, you overstuffed buffoon? My beloved boy's been turned into a stinking corpse if you hadn't bloody noticed! You! Jordveth, or something, was it? Does she not like me? Ooh. Hildy 
Please told me all about your hijinks together. Pleased to meet you. Fix, fix, my son. My dear boy has always had a bit of a rebellious streak. What can I say? I can come on a bit too strong at times. Little bit. But can you blame me? This time I thought I'd sit back and leave things to my sorry Iris husband here, and look what that got me. You'll help me out, won't you? Of course I will. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's the best kind of frying pan wielding. Reunited with my dear boy for the first time in ages and just look at him, he's green. He is green. Fortunately, there's still time to reverse the zombie curse and I know just a remedy, a file of holy water. The ingredients are simple, tatter uh, over soul rags and a file of tight twice distilled water. Synth, synth, synth got at the markets, okay. Stocks the former and the latter you can procure from a trader by the name of Guest. Now hurry, once the poison spreads throughout his veins, no antidote will save him. Well, isn't she way faster than me, though? I mean, I'm just saying, she is. In the meantime, I will search for the bumbler's bumbling assistant. With any luck, Miss Nashu is still alive. I should hope so. You need a chocobo emote in your life. You don't need to make one. The orbit is very scared. Thanks for follow, Hacked. Ouch, that smarts. You gads. Hildy, you're looking none too hard to yourself. No thanks to you, you bumbling oaf. Now, are you going to accompany Yorvet here and make yourself useful, or do I have to reintroduce you to that wall? Ah, uh, but, but of course, milady. Gilgamesh is ever at your service. Sint Goth's sundries, was it? <laughs> Come now, sorry, Yorvet. There is work to be done. Yep. You made Gilgamesh scared. The poor guy. Enkidu, not so easily scared. Okay, where are we going? Is that close? Where am I? There am I. Teleport to we. Godbert's not scary? He's an amazing guy. Uh, there we go. The chicken is Enkidu. That's, that's Gilgamesh's companion. Looks like a follow Dr. Twitchneck. I don't even know what to call that. Enkidu is basically a honey badger. <laughs> yes! Oversoul rags, you say? I fear that I've only a single tatter left in stock, and it's already been spoken for. Well, I'm, I'll speak for it again, then. But my good man, you must reconsider. My dear friend's life, and quite possibly my own as well, hangs in the balance. I sympathize with your plight, friend, but a man has to make a living. I've been promised a copious supply of rare chimera membrane for these rags, unless you can offer me the same. No deal. Yeah, and you expect us to be able to summon such a rarity out of nowhere at a moment's notice? Well, look what we have here, if it isn't the warrior of light from the Colosseum. Funny who you meet at the markets. Oh, those two. Uh, are you training for that? <laughs> it's a good game, Tom. You need to play it. As it happens, I just returned from my training, and the slaying of ten chimeras just happened to be my task for the day. If it's chimera membrane you seek, you're more than welcome to a share. Uh, yes, yes, please, yes. Have fun, Tom. Happy New Year to you too, soon. My lady, you are far too kind. Don't mention it. If I hadn't been, if it hadn't been for Inspector Hildebrand and Yordveth here, I'd still be tag teaming with that slimy beast and cheating my way to fame and fortune. And I'm a woman who pays her debts. Aww, we're best friends now. All my best friends are in video games. Well, take me if that wasn't a Vila the Tempest! Ever since she confessed to her trickery and started climbing back up from the bottom of the ranks, I've been proud to call myself one of her biggest fans. Why, I've half a mind to give you the rags you seek simply for the privilege of meeting her. Do that then. Just do that. I'll keep I'll keep the memory. A kind sentiment, my good man, but we are more than happy to uphold our side of the bargain, aren't we, Yordveth? No, we're not. And with this, our task here is done. Now let us find this trader named Guest, where I'm sure someone's gonna help us again. Uh, he went that away, but I guess that's not where it's actually at. 
No, it's not. Back to the chamber of rule. Why? 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 Chamber. Where? There you are. Also, the start of Final Fantasy is pretty slow, but it gets really, really good eventually. Like, I, I started loving the story once Heaven's Word started, basically. A little bit into that. Oh, guest, I need water. <laughs> the blundering Manderville boy is on his last legs and you need something of mine to save him, you say? Hmm. Perhaps you can give me a good reason why I should care. Those bloody Mandervilles are richer than the traders themselves, yet they have the audacity to haggle me down to the last gill for every purchase. If the family line ended today, I'd be happier. And wealthier man. Wow. And now I believe the ballroom calls. Good day to you and do pass along my condolences to the grieving parents. You know they can actually... Do you know what they do to you? Uh, never mind. Have you not a shred of honor or compassion in that spindly body? Business rival or no, the man is on death's doorstep. Eh? Guess he doesn't care. After the events of that day, my father will not so easily forgive and forget. But it matters not to me. No, my love for you is as deep as the seven seas. I beg of you, my lady, may I have this dance? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear lord, of course. Still? But why? He's kind of boring. <laughs> See ya, Thara. You abandoned your character somewhere during the quest that leads into Heaven's Ward. Yeah, no, d I would really, really, really recommend getting through the Heaven's Ward quest. If you still don't like it after Heaven's Ward, then it's probably not for you. But I love the Heaven's Ward story so much. And I think you can actually buy your way there too. If you're really like, I can't be bothered, then you can do that too. But I just play the whole thing. Yorveth, what a lovely surprise. Are you here for the ball perchance? Yes. Talking. Heavens, the poor inspector. Well, if it isn't the lap is maiden in the flesh, what say you bid farewell to preening fops and scruffy adventurers and share a dance with a cultured gentleman befitting your great beauty? Can we slap him now? Why, it would be a pleasure and an honor both, my lord. Uh, what? Provided you first provide my good friend Yorveth with the bottle of twice distilled water that he seeks. Ah-ha! Of course. He's very upset about that. Oh, I thought it was to get to it. You know this man? Bah, if that is the price you would set, then so be it. Take it. It's barely worth its weight in gill anyway. Now shall we, Miss Arabella? What a slime. She's obviously not going to stay with him, because he's a slime. <laughs> Alright, Cygron. Have fun, Wiglets. Do the thing as the tall wonder that you are and eat all the sushi. I am so jealous of your sushi. Oh my god. I knew Hildy to be a worthy rival, but to think he was this beloved by so many. Clearly this realm would deeply mourn his loss. Quickly, Jordveth, let us deliver these goods while there is still time to save him. Yes, we will save him. I think that is the last quest we'll have time for on this New Year's Day Eve thing. That's a really short stream. Oh my god, Wiggles, how dare you! I haven't had sushi in ages. I trust the two of you wouldn't dare come back empty handed. Well, I mean, it wouldn't really be our. Never mind. I'll still tell her that. Bloody brilliant! I take you over my muscle headed half wit of a husband any day. Oh, well, are, are you. Are you offering? Are you seriously offering? Because. Now stand back and let me show you some real Manorville home cooking. Okay. Let's go. Follow your bloody bugger guide my skillet. <laughs> oh, God. Why, that should stop it spread. Now it's up to Hildy to flush out what's left out of his system. Don't worry, he's my son, after all. I reckon he's still got some fight left in him. I don't, I don't other reckon wise. Look who 
I found. She was slumbering, obviously, obliviously, in a rubbish-strewn corner of Pearl Lane. Aw, boy, did that nap feel good. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it did. Your word has it that Ellie has been sighted at the Sildin Runes. We must go there with all haste. Let's go. Or is it? You've done well, my dear boy, by my dear boy today. Don't worry, I'll handle things from here. There's a nice warm bed for him, and I think I know a few specialists who might know a thing or two about his condition. On zombifying? There are specialists on that? What in the seven hells are you standing around for? The future of Ulda is at stake. That's one hell of a cliffhanger. Yeah, it's a short stream because I'm going to take my cat downstairs and we're going to make him not feel bad about things. And I also want to see uh, the New Year's conference with my dad. Because it's probably the last New Year's that we spend in this house. Because uh, we're mo both moving. Both moving. I'm moving myself, obviously. And he probably he probably is as well. At least I'm moving out. So it's my last New Year's here. It's my last New Year's with my dad. So I'm going to go downstairs and probably watch really, really dumb shows. <laughs> Your faith, my strength is yours as well, for Ulda and for our friend Hildi. I think last year I just streamed uh, up to 12 as well. You! You remind me of my husband. What would you have in more muscles and sense? If you're so keen on making yourself useful, why don't you run in the markets and bring me some fire crystals? Keeping my dear boy warm is key to fighting off the zombification. Let's see, I can believe 20 crates or so should suffice? And I am a warrior, not a- <clears throat> Yes, yes, my lady. Watch Die Hard. No, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> oh, Enkidu. I say, Enkidu, the burden we must bear is simply to secure my long-awaited final confrontation with Yordveth. I know, I feel the same way. That said, the events of today have given me cause to reflect. Yordveth and Hildi both are to be blessed with such veritable legions of friends tried and true. But alas, not I. No, only one true friend have I ever known, and she is long lost to me. What about Enkidu? You are a fine bird and have given me great comfort in my travels. But you will never be Enkidu, my one and true companion. Look, he's trying. Oh, my friend, were you here with me? Even Yordaveth could not stand against our combined might. Yes, I could. Oh, Enkidu, wherever you may wander, hear my words and return here to my side. Enkidu, do you hear me? Enkidu! Why are you yelling at the heavens? Whoa. Ye gats! What was that flash from the heavens? It nearly blinded me. And what? The crystals? Where have they gone? Did he just summon a primal? Fancy meeting you here, old friend. That voice. Could it be? You totally summoned a, you totally summoned a primal. My faithful companion, why must you always make me wait so? <sighs> oh my god. He totally summoned a primal. He totally summoned a primal. And that is actually where we're gonna end the stream. I'm gonna gonna go grab Cat so Cat can say goodbye as well, and then I'm gonna drag Cat downstairs so we can have uh, less explosions. You go. That was not familiar. Won't be that many. This cat. He's upset with everything. But he's okay because now he can sit on my lap for a while. I'm still gonna go downstairs though because there's less bangs there, isn't there? Yes, there is. You see? Do we have anyone to host? Is anyone actually streaming at all? Let me see. Oh, Line of Slime Gaming is... I'm gonna host my friend. Yeah, you can go and keep him company. Alright, guys. <laughs> well, a very lovely evening, everyone. Or morning or afternoon. But I'm assuming most of you are still waiting for New Year's. So, I'll see you guys maybe on Monday, if I'm not dead. Otherwise on Tuesday, with more Bloodborne. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this very short lightning stream. And a uh, happy new year for next year. Bye, Phil.